Kimber K6S Combat. So, um, as we all know, I'm more kind of a semi-auto man myself. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with revolvers, but I will say, much like the AK, there was some, there's just an organic, raw attraction um, that I inherently have with respect to the revolver. Especially those chambered in 357 Magnum. Now, some of y'all remember when I did the video on the Ruger Red Hawk Alaskan, um, that was a 454 Casul, and that gun was just a brolic beast <laughs> of a weapon. Um, but this is chambered in 357 Mag, and I gotta say, this gun is beautiful. I remember when I, when I got it, when Kimber sent it to me, and I first got it, and I looked at it, I said, this is a good looking gun. Really good looking gun. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and see what it's like to shoot. <laughs> All right. So that was 357 Mag. It hits, it punches. And one of the things that I don't like about guns, generally speaking, which is why I don't tend to like long slides, is that they tend to be a little bit bouncy. Uh, because of the way, and revolvers inherently, especially when you have these longer, when you have these longer barrels, this is a four inch barrel. And just the way it's set up and where it kind of fulcrums, I think revolvers with the longer barrel tend to be a little bit more flippy than semi-automatics with the same length barrel. But one of the things about revolvers that I love, um, and this is no exception, is how cathartic it is to load rounds into the cylinders. This particular Kimber has six rounds, which is honestly quite high considering how slim of a profile this gun actually is. If you just see it in pictures, it looks like it's a lot bigger than what it really is, but in reality, it's a rather slim profile firearm and kind of small in terms of just kind of overall dimensions. Um, and again, God, this thing is so gorgeous like just that contrast with the stainless steel and then these wood grips they kind of look like the bolo grips that peter gushes over all the damn time but, but in, in this particular case i got to give it to them because they look really really good now these aren't the bolos these are like walnut grips but that contrast is just ugh. so jesus this thing is <laughs> the single action trigger on this gun is actually quite good it's actually really 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 good but before i talk about that i want to talk about the double action so this particular kimber has an exposed hammer the k6 line of kimber revolvers actually tend to have um, they, they come in two versions. They have one where I have an exposed hammer and one where the hammer isn't exposed. Um, in this particular case, because you do have an exposed hammer, what the exposed hammer allows you to do is you can shoot the gun in single action mode versus when it's not exposed, you only get a double action pull. And I want to talk about this hammer real quick. This hammer is sculpted like a piece of art. I mean, look at it. It's, it's very it's very it's almost ripped in this in a certain kind of way if you look at it it's slim it's low profile but it's still at the same time functions just like any other hammer and i gotta say especially like you look at the texturing on the back of this thing like it's just it's just a gorgeous looking hammer to be honest all right so another thing about this particular ks is you actually have night sights you actually have sights that are kind of synonymous to what you would get in a semi-automatic, in a semi-auto like a Glock, for instance, or like a, um, like a FN 509. And from my understanding, you can also change these out and get night sights as well. Um, and they're really low profile, which I like as well. So they kind of just kind of blend in seamlessly with the, with the firearm. And I like that aspect of it too. But let's go back to what I was talking about as far as, as, the, as the, the double action pull. So we're gonna try to shoot this one handed without me embarrassing myself because these 357 mag loads actually kick quite a bit. But if you look, you got this 
It doesn't stack. It's just a smooth, smooth, just a real smooth pull if you notice. Which it actually is not that bad. So now let me load it up and I want to show you what the gun is like in single action. Now, this isn't like a semi-automatic double action, single action gun. With the double action, single action, with semi-automatic double action, single action gun with an exposed hammer, typically the first trigger pull is going to be a heavy one and then the second pull is going to be a light single action pull. With the revolver, however, you're always going to have to cock the hammer for your single action pull. So get single action pull, you see the trigger depressed back and we're good and then it goes back to full and this single action pull is really good like i mean look let's see if we can get like it's, it's just before i can even think it's off so now what i want to try to do see what it's like shooting this gun under rapid fire and double action mode. All right, let's see what we got here. It's some work. <laughs> it's some work, man. I gotta tell you, uh, but golly, man, I don't think I wanna be on the other end of 357 mag. I really, really don't. And so, and that's kind of the whole thing about, about revolvers. A lot of people are like, oh, why does anybody buy a revolver? Especially a revolver, especially a revolver of this price point. A revolver of this price, I mean, we're talking somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to $900 for this particular gun, maybe even more at this point. And a lot of it really has to, there are some people who just like carrying revolvers. It just is what it is, they love them. And I don't necessarily blame them, but there's more to a revolver than just the kind of functional aspect of it. I do think there is an artsman, there's an there's a arts, there's an, there's an artistic aspect about revolvers that you don't necessarily get with polymer guns. Polymer guns tend to be real plastic wonder. They're just plastic functional things. Um, they can be beautiful and they can look really cool, but with a revolver, it's just, there's a beauty that you get with the combination of, of very organic materials like metal and wood when you bring them together, much the same way with 1911s that just look gorgeous. And so you take, you take a, a semi-automatic polymer gun, you put it together with a gun like this, and then you look at them, I don't know if you could beat it from just a pure beauty standpoint. And I think that's why a lot of people who still carry revolvers, why that's why they carry them in a lot of ways. Um, and there's also the familiarity. It's a lot of people who've come up shooting revolvers and that's just what they're comfortable with. You could also shoot 38 Special out of, out of this as well. So if you just want to come to the range, you just want to run through it and plink away, you can use 38 Special. And then when you get home, put in your 357 mag for your home, for your home defense or can still carry whatever have you, whatever reason you're deciding to use this gun. All right, let's see here. This is a thumper. Right. You see the way it freaking knocks those targets over? Look at this. And that's another thing about this gun too. Um, it points really naturally, it does. Um, and I've said that about a lot of guns, but not all guns do that. Some guns you have to adjust clocks. <laughs> you kind of have to adjust a little bit whenever you punch out. But this particular gun, that is the case. Um, it, it just naturally comes up to my eye line and that front sight is automatically right where I expect it to be. So it actually is an easy gun to shoot from the standpoint of accuracy. It does recoil a little bit more because we're shooting a 357 mag. However, from an accuracy standpoint, if I'm putting this in double, if I'm putting this in single action mode, then with the way this gun points, it's not an issue at all. Let's see here, you got these bad boys. I mean, the gun just, Good. This is kind of fun, actually. The Kimber K6S Combat. Um, 
it's it's gorgeous, man. It's it's a good looking gun. I'm not gonna lie, the 357 Magnum, <laughs> it it hits. Like I enjoy shooting it, but then I but then it's like after a certain time, because like I said, like most revolvers, you get that fulcrum effect. Um, it's gonna want to rise on you a little bit more. But just from a comparing apples to apples from a revolver standpoint, I mean, when you take into account the beauty, just the overall details, it's just a smooth, it's just a really smooth looking revolver. It's just the details on this gun are phenomenal. Um, and it's a really good looking gun, which also is not that bad to shoot considering I'm shooting full power 357 mag rounds. And it's also accurate. It's not a gun I would necessarily like to do a mag dump on on a consistent basis over and over and over and over again. But from a revolver standpoint, I like it. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.